guys, I wanted to share with you guys something that could be scary to a lot of us, and um, I know it is to me, and that is when people ask me, how much does it cost, okay? So as you know, my main form of outreach is um, at the moment video, right? I just send video audits, and when I get replies, we go on from there, right? And one of the most common ones I get back is people asking, right from the bat, right after the video audit, they asked me, how much does this cost? Interesting, how much is this? What's the price range? Something like that, right? It's like two thirds of my replies, right? And I realized that, you know, um, as I get more into the, more into the sales stage, right? That's how uh, more cautious I get. I guess it's normal for anybody, right? Because in the beginning, you have nothing to lose or you shouldn't have anything to lose. You should have no fear, right? Calling anybody, just going down the list, you know, sending more emails here and there, um, you know, just banging shit up, more or less, right? But as soon as somebody replies, shows interest, now you have something to lose because now you know that out of 100 people you emailed, five replied back. So this one, losing this one is, is, is basically like losing uh, worth, you know, equal to sending 20, 20 emails. Get it? Right? That I guess that's like, you know, where the fear comes from because, um, and I know this because as soon as they reply, it takes me like an hour to reply back. I, I look at everything, but um, I, I took some notes down so I can cut down that time and make it a bit more strategized. Obviously, it's going to be always different depending on, you know, who's asking, but a bit more strategized so we have a solid approach, right? And I just want to share what I'm doing right now. I'm, it may change, it probably will, right? It's just m one of my first w times I'm actually, um, how do you say, like putting this down into uh, a paper and um, you know, some kind of method to it, right? All right, so what, what, this is exactly what I do. Somebody out of the people, they ask me, how much does it cost? And right off there, as soon as I see that, I go off in a hunting mode of their business, okay? So this is how it goes. I start by typing in their business name in Google, right? Competition research is done, right? Uh, that's that's next step. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I look at, um, what was I gonna say? I lost my mind for a second. Anyways, I type, in, I type in their business name in Google and I go as far as page three, okay? L just looking at all the things that come up when you type in their business name, right? Home advisor, their Facebook, their LinkedIn, House, Manta, Thumbtack, whatever it is. Every platform that comes up, I look into it, okay? And I'm looking for the following things. One, what kind of listing do they have? Do they have premium or not? Are they paying for the listings or not? Are they advertising on Yelp or not? Do they have a premium video on Yelp? It's cost a couple, couple hundred dollars for a bullshit video. If they spend on that, they might be somebody who is not afraid to spend money. That's all I'm getting at. I'm looking to find if they're a person who's not afraid to spend money. If they're a business owner who tries things, who invests. If it fails, it does. If it doesn't, um, you know, they try shit out. They're not afraid. They're not fear about money, right? And I try to find that out with the type of listings they have. And the next round through, or I do that at the same time, I look at the reviews they have, right? Literally, I read every single one of them, okay, to find out what kind of person are they, what people are saying about them. Um, and I get a feel for if they're punctual, if they're courteous, if they're, um, you know, a businessman that, it has, that has a certain kind of style, right? I, I, I don't know why, but a lot of times I see these, like, you know, remodelers, they, they have a certain kind of pitch, they have a certain kind of composure, and, you know, they are the ones that are, tend to kind of, like, spend a lot more, right? Um, maybe it's just, I got a small sample to make that judgment, but the ones that are just kind of frantic and you know, if they're not interested, they don't even answer your calls and they just like keep hanging up and are rude and stuff. I see they're the ones that tend to be losers as well, right? Maybe there's a correlation. Whatever it is, I try to find that about them, okay? Now once I did, the I have a good understanding of the person there, and actually, and to be honest, I actually go one step further. I find the owner and I actually stalk him too, right? Like down to pictures of this, dogs and family and everything of his personal Facebook so but um you know we'll leave that to the side but <laughs> long story short I really get in into who they are not just a listing on the website you know on the business that I I'm trying to pitch to I try to really find out nitty-gritty of who they are and um then possibly as I mentioned briefly a little ago 
is um, the com com competitors they have and how they're spending, okay? Just for some extra ammo, okay? Once I get this, then I would reply back something like, now you have to keep it pretty short, right? Longer than your first post, because that just has a video, and then, uh, but, but shorter than, you know, going forward. So it would be like, maybe I'll just give you a direct example. Anyways, um, it's basically like this. I just write, hey, thank you for taking the time to reach back to me. Um, the cost is relative to your budget and your, um, you know, your unique circumstance, something like that, right? And then I give them exact examples just so it kind of gets them into, um, so they understand that I know um, their niche, right? I know what, they, what, what they're dealing with. Um, I give the examples such as, I actually say, okay, uh, budget and niche, period. For example, last month we got a contractor who had a lot of problems with ripoff report. So if you don't know what ripoff rip off report is, it's a, a website where people who are um, really bitchy or you know very pissed off with a certain service, like you know homeowners, can go to it and complain about these contractors. And over time, it has a pretty high domain authority, and it ranks really well. So whenever, uh, if if a company gets a ripoff report, like a complaint from there. Um, a lot of times when you look up the company's name, it's it comes up in the first page of Google, right? So I mentioned that example to them. Like last month, one of our contractors got a report from, you know, had a report, had a problem with ripoff report, fuck man. Um, and we had to do some different campaigns and their budget was a little higher because we had to take those down. And then I give an example for them why it would be possibly lower. So it could be, and this is what the example I used for my last one. Um, I told them that for you, for example, we see that your social media is on point. So there's no need for us to do any extra content marketing. And it was true, that guy has a, you know, he had probably, probably has a social media company working to it because you know, they have posts every day, they're very engaging, nice, they have a lot of followers, and um, you know, but they're just their SEO sucks. And um, yeah, so I told them that, right? There's no extra need for content marketing. And then lastly, I tell them, however, if you're looking for a price range, um, we have a minimum of 850 per month starting. But as I said, that doesn't really reflect what? Uh, something in the lines of that doesn't really, you know, um, reflect of what it would exactly be, but it's just a starting point to let you know a range. And then lastly, the last line could be something like, um, not could be, you have to have a call to action, is um, I'd love to get on a call with you, a screen share with you, take you out for lunch, I live around the area, whatever, you know, depending on where you guys are, and um, let them know, you know, when you're available, and say, um, yeah, just say, I'd love to take you out, you know, the, and how does this sound for you? Or like, um, something like, would you be open to that? Looking forward to hearing, hearing back from you, get it? So that's pretty much my uh, response to anybody who says, what's the cost, what's the price type of thing? So I take them through, and understanding that you know we really customize you know somebody who had this problem they had this up since you don't need this so it would be down there but the minimum is about like this so you get a range but I'd love to take you through an entire strategy to show you exactly what we'd be doing and then you can justify the price right would be open to that much better than um, what I was doing before all right so hope that helps Later.